chimney. Today I wanted to show you what's inside my bathroom cabinet. If you're interested, then please keep on watching. Before I actually turn on my ring light, let me just show you what my bathroom looks like at the moment. So basically, that's how it's set up. The lighting of this bathroom is actually bad. I don't know. It looks yellowish to me. So I'm using the ring light anyway. What you can see in there is just the everyday stuff that I use. My cat says hi. So let's turn on this ring light so that you can actually see the products that I will show you. This is what I have in my side of sink. I have the usual stuff and for my face, for my acne prone skin, what I have is the Proactive. To be honest with you, I was actually so hesitant in using Proactive first for my skin but eventually, it was actually a long story, but eventually I ended up um, using it and my skin actually loved it. So I continued purchasing this kit. First, it's the cleanser. Um, and then we have the toner. I need to change this one. You know what? Let me just do that right now because I actually have the box. Toner and you have the repairing treatment. It, this is the third step. This is how the box looks like. It comes with the receipt and the instructions. I don't need this because... So, what I have right here is this one. The three-step acne treatment. Every time you order a kit from them, they actually send you free stuff like a concealer or anything, a soap, moisturizer. So for this box, I think, oh yeah, it's this one, green tea, and what's this? Skin purifying mask. I need to throw this away. I'm sorry, you will be seeing my cat on this video like he goes where I go, he follows me all the time. <laughs> Hi! The things that you'll see in my cabinets are mostly the products that I love for my um, oily acne prone skin. So, and few products that I love for my hair. So, let's go ahead. This is what my cabinet looks like. First, I have here the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I like this a lot. I've been through two bottles of this already. But recently, I tend to gravitate towards the Ponds Cold Cream Cleanser. I remember liking it before and somehow I just decide to like buy it again and try it and so far so good it's a part of uh, my nighttime routine now this one because for one it's affordable it does the the same job for my face but this one is kind of moisturizing the next product that i'll show you is the antipodes juliet skin brightening gel cleanser I obviously like um, cleansers that are brightening to the skin because I suffer from acne and I have a lot of scars. This is my first bottle of Antipodes Brightening Gel Cleanser. By the way, this gel cleanser has kiwi fruit, manuka honey, which I love, and antioxidant Venanza Performance Plus. But this kind of cleanser is actually... A subtle kind of cleanser and it doesn't really lather that much that's why I use other cleansers and this one is the naive I don't know if that's how you pronounce it 
hundred. I can't read this one because it's in Japanese, I think, but my skin loves it. As you can see, I've already used it. Like, there, a white cream. The consistency is not runny at all, but this one, none of it is kind of runny. It looks like honey. Next here is a Proactive Green Tea Moisturizer. The toners, I tried the Pixie Skin Treat Glow Tonic because a lot of people like this. Also, I have the Andalou, Andalou? Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science. I'm letting this toners rest for now because I really, really want to continue using the proactive toner because um, I've seen improvements in my skin. I also have the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I want to try this one, but I think I'll try this once I get back from my vacation um, in the Philippines. For now, I want to stick to a simple regimen for my face. It's the shade of White Lucent Brightening Moisturizing Gel. I tried this one last year and I just discontinued it. As I've said, because um, I was already using the Proactive. But I want to keep this because I think I might use this in the future. This is what it looks like. For those who have acne, or oily type of skin the go-to moisturizers for us are the gel types these i just want to keep the two tubes from shadow this one is just a part of the freebies that they give you it's for dark circles i don't have dark circles at the moment but um i just want to keep this this is my most loved product and this is the manuka honey I really like this one. It's really good for your body. Some take it orally, but what I do with Manuka honey is I actually use it for mask or spot treatment if I have acne. And this is also for, you know, the scars to heal easily. This is also antibacterial. These are from Proactive. These are actually just the freebies that they give you when you order kit from them. This one is the Blackhead Dissolving Gel. This one is the Skin Purifying Mask. And this one is the Emergency Blemish Relief. Next are my moisturizers. Brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer. It has SPF 15. And I actually discovered this by accident. This is actually just a sample, but look at that. If I'm just in the house and I'm not really going out, I actually reach for the Antipodes um, Light Facial Day Cream. This is so light. I just don't really like the smell of it. This one smells refreshing, but this one smells like organic vanilla. Yeah, that's how it smells like. I'm not a fan of it, but it's fine. Speaking of which, I actually bought the full size of this moisturizer because I really liked it. I just really need to finish this one. Let me see. This is what it looks like. This is Miracle in a Bottle. Like, honestly, I really, really like this stuff. Drawing Lotion from Mario Badescu. And as you can see, I really, really love this bottle. It's my first bottle actually and definitely not my last. I'm gonna repurchase this because it obviously helped me in my acne. I put this every night into my troubled skin. Next is, this is actually from Shishado 2. It's for the eyes and I have here healthy skin eye cream. If I remember to apply eye cream then I grab this one and put it under my eyes even if I really don't have any problems at the moment. So I have this one for your pores. Um, I use this 
actually twice a month if I remember I told you I am kind of um, lazy when it comes to using mask these are the Mari Tedesco stuff for this one it's a seaweed night cream whitening cream this one is a night uh, whitening mask I used this product last winter and I stopped using it I just didn't like the scent of this and when I put on a night cream I prefer it to be like a brightening cream this one doesn't seem to do that trick so I kind of stopped using it and this one I got the Mari Pedesco whitening mask I told you already that I am a sucker for whitening masks because I have problems areas like spots and scars from my acne and I need them gone in my face it will actually take me like months or years to even achieve that but at least I'm I have products you know that can lighten it a bit Andalou Naturals Lemon Sugar Facial Scrub wait can you see that I like this one because I actually know what's in it. It has lemons and sugar, manuka honey that I like, and it says it's for clarifying. It's for my made for my type of skin. That's the consistency. It's not runny at all. These are my choices for um, an eye makeup remover. First is the Clinique Take the Day Off and then the Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover by Neutrogena. This is probably my first choice for an eye makeup remover and then this would be the second. I also have my Clinique brush. That's it. I'm sorry. It looks dirty at the moment because I use this with my skin brightening gel cleanser this one as you've seen it's brown and it stained my brush so that's that i also have sk facial treatment mask that i haven't used to so have vitamin e this one i use for my coffee scrub, I make my own coffee scrub. I just mixed coffee, organic um, coconut oil, and then I put vitamin E. Uh, the Bure Ocean Nose Strip, the antibacterial hand gel. This one I love using for my hair. It says in the back that it does 10 things instantly. For this product, I kind of forgot how I felt about this one because as you can see, um, I've been using this It's a 10 Miracle Living Plus Keratin. I can't really say a lot about this product. Definitely, um, it smells nice. It smells light and fruity. And what I actually use all the time for my hair, after I shower and if I want my hair to look bomb, and if I plan to straighten it, I use this Tresemme Keratin Smooth. I love, love the scent of this one. I also have this mask. These are from Japan. A cleanser for my eyewear. I think I covered everything. This is all I really have in my bathroom cabinet. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sherry. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!